Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Nathan from the ebook reader blog. For this video, I wanted to do a quick comparison of the Clara BW black and white um, with the new Carta 1300 screen. Um, so if you read online, Carta 1300 is supposed to be great and big upgrade. Uh, I actually aim to disprove that here with this video. Which one of these devices do you think is the Carta 1300 screen? Uh, yeah, it's actually the one on the left. The Clara black and white will be on the left throughout this whole video. The one on the right right now is the Clara 2E, the previous gen model with the Carta 1200 screen. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about this here. So first off, um, I will say the camera does seem to exaggerate it a little bit here. So the difference is more subtle in person, but I still feel like the blacks are darker on the Carta 1200 screen on the right and the background's just a little bit lighter. It kind of has a little bit more of a yellowish tone to it on the Carta 1300 here. So just to show that everything's on the level here, we got the exact same font type, the exact same settings, everything. Front lights will be off throughout this whole video, so the front lights aren't impacting the screen at all. So take a little bit more of a close up here. Which one do you think is Carta 1300? Judging by all the hype that's online saying that it's supposed to be better, uh, yeah, I don't think it's better at all. It actually looks a little bit worse than the Carta 1200 screen. So here's a you know, um, larger font size where you can see it a little bit here. Uh, one thing about the Carta 1300 screen, it is faster though. So general navigation and refreshing does seem to be a little bit quicker here when you're navigating the in interface. Um, so you know that seems to stand up, but I can't say if that's from the screen or if that's just from like the new build of the Clara, you know, maybe they're doing something different with the hardware. Maybe just maybe that's why it's a little bit faster. It doesn't seem like a screen difference in these speed uh, differences here. So yeah, it loads pages just a little bit faster as you can see here. Navigating the interface a little bit faster, but when it comes to contrast, yeah, uh, it's not an upgrade at all. I posted an article on my we blog last week saying it's not a worthwhile upgrade. So if you've been waiting for a new device with Carta 1300 screen, uh, based on what I'm seeing here, yeah, it's not an upgrade. Um, it's very subtle, the difference in person though, but what I find weird is, so let's load up this, you know, Dr. Seuss book here, um, and just the colors are rendering completely different. So it's darker on one, like the background that, uh, it's supposed to be blue, the window, uh, it's darker on the right, but like the bow tie is darker on the left. So it's rendering totally different. Um, you know, so these do have the latest software installed from Kobo, but I think they tweak some stuff with their new color model and this new black and white model. Um, but here's a look at a manga, manga, sorry, I always get that wrong. It looks like manga, but it's pronounced manga. Um, but yeah, again, I mean, the blacks do just look a little bit be better on the Carta 1200 screen. I think the uh, performance is a little bit better on the Carta 1300. Maybe refreshing is a little bit faster, but uh, I'm definitely not seeing an improvement with contrast like they say there is. But uh, I mean, it, it is subtle. Like I said, the camera does sort of like exaggerate a little bit. I don't know if just like the amber, the angle of the camera or whatever. Um, but I mean, both here in the same lighting conditions in person, you can, it does seem like the blacks are just a little bit darker on the Carta 1200 screen. So here's dark mode. We have the in inverted screen with a black background, white text. Again, I don't know, to my eyes, it looks a little bit darker on the right. Uh, that's not really much of a difference here. But one thing I did notice when I'm doing these page turns here, um, like the ghosting, if you look at the black spot, like at the top of the screen right here, um, there's more ghosting on the right um, and that until the page fully refreshes, like you can set however you want, however often you want the page to refresh, but you can definitely see more lines in the background on the Carta 1200 screen. So it does look like the Carta 1300 screen is refreshing cleaner, cleaner, um, get less background images. So here is the ultimate comparison, the Kindle o Voyage on the right here. The Kindle Voyage has long been known as having the best screen. It was released 10 years ago. It was right when the Ink Carta 300 PPI screens first started coming out. Nothing has been able to match it since. Something about the micro edge glass, the text just has a clearer quality to it. The blacks are just a little bit darker than all these newer screens that Ink has come out with over the years. Uh, so now here comes the difficult task of trying to match the font size on a Kobo and a Kindle and the, uh, the layout is not exactly the same, but I'm using the same font here. Um, so this is an EPUB and the line spacings don't, don't work with EPUB unless you like m mess with caliber. So I can't get the line spacing exactly right, but I mean, the font size is, it's pretty close. Um, you know, I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, again, like it's probably not going to show up great on the camera, but in person, the screen on the Voyage is still, it's still superior. It's got a clearer quality to it. The blacks are just a little bit darker. So 
I don't know what ink is doing over the years, but 10 years ago when the Voyage came out, they haven't been able to match that screen ever since. But I think it has something to do with all the light layers and the touchscreen layers. They just obscure the text just a little bit. Um, something about the Voyage, like I said, they really nailed the, the screen clarity on that one. And they've never, even newer Kindles can't match it. So, um, yeah. But anyway, so original Carta screen versus the new Carta 1300 screen. Yeah, I take the original Carta screen on the Voyage any day. Not a big difference, like I said. And look at this, page turns, pretty much the same. It's not like there's a significant speed difference um, with the newer screen tech here. But, you know, the front lights have come a long way. There's less ghosting. You can actually see some of the lines in the background on the Voyage there. Um, so, I mean, the screens have advanced some, but when it comes to contrast, you know, I mean, Voyage still has the best contrast. And I still think the Clara 2E has better contrast than this newer Carta 1300 screen. I mean, it's very, very minor, but uh, at the end of the day, I wouldn't take Carta 1300 as a deciding characteristic one way or another if you're shopping for a new device. Uh, these e ink screens, the, you know, improvements over the years have been so minor. It's really not something to worry about unless you're really, really picky about this kind of stuff. But um, again, it would be nice if they could match the contrast on the Voyage from 10 years ago, but you know, it's not like it's hard to read on these newer screens at all. In fact, the, um, you know, with the front lights and the dark modes, it's definitely better than the Voyage or Voyage was back then. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Check out the ebook reader blog. I'll be posting some more videos of these new Kobo devices. Thanks for watching.